Hey guys, Kaylee here, and it's one of the first snowy days of the year, and I figured I would take you around and show you a little bit of what I love about winter here on the farm. I figured since I was out walking around the farm during this beautiful snowy winter day, I would introduce you to some of these lovely ladies behind me. So these girls are actually not sheep. I know that they may look like that, but they're actually not. We breed and raise this lovely breed of pig, and they are called the Mangalitsa. You may have seen pictures of me posted with them. They definitely make for an awesome conversation. So one of the main reasons why we raised this breed of pig is because we found that it's really hard to come by. It's hard to come by such a quality of meat. Um, they are known as the Colby beef of pork and their meat definitely, it's not the typical pork. I mean, pork, when you go to the grocery store, you're gonna see a white meat. You're gonna see a very pink, white meat. Other than them being wooly and adorable, we also have fallen in love with the fact that they are very hardy. So this line of pig is a heritage breed. They're extremely hardy and they're lovely when it comes to farrowing and their nurturing capability. We truly love this breed. I'll take you guys and show you our swallow bellies. All right, let's see if I can strain this out. Okay. So, these are my other babies. Um, as you can see, there do there are a couple different, different breeds here. We've got two of our Berkshire girls. Uh, they are also another good breed of pig. They do get really big really fast. So we have been playing around with crossing one of our boar with our Berkshire. And so far that litter is growing very rapidly, which is kind of what we anticipated. So we are still kind of playing around. So there are actually three different colors. Um, the blondes, the swallow belly, which is behind me. And then I don't actually have, but they do have a red breed, which maybe one day we will see. I've also come across some people saying that there are black mangas so we will see I truly adore this breed and I think that for the farm for for your homestead they are a good addition they do grow out a little bit longer they take a little while to grow out quality means more to us and we we truly like the, the hardiness of this breed we like the meat quality and we also like just their overall ability to be pigs and Obviously, as you can see, it is snowy and cold and they are doing just fine. So do you guys remember that cross that I was talking to you about, the Berkshire and the Manga cross? I will show you those babies and what they look like. They actually turned out pretty unique. They did get 
spots and when they were born they had both spots and stripes which mangas are notorious for stripes when they're born um, one of the reasons why that they are notorious for that is because of their of their line of their lineage so mangas are part wild boar and i will give you all the details um, about them and where they originated from which I might have already mentioned to you they originated from a Hungarian line um, which is one of the reasons why that they are so hardy and do so well in climates that are chillier taking you around and showed you a little bit of this beautiful snowy day here on the farm. I am gonna take the kids and we are going to go make some hot chocolate and warm up and start cooking some yummy dinner. But thank you guys again for watching and I hope that you guys like this video. Give it a nice thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. And again, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old.